Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe where today we're slicing and dicing our way through our enemies, checking out the latest addition to the pole arms of the Guandao. We've got a whole bunch of pole arms in the game, this is going to have to be pretty special to stand out amongst the crowd. You can find it in the Tenno Lab of the Dojo, honestly the research costs aren't too terrible, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about funding it. Once it's done though, you'll have a Mastery 4 pole arm with 90 damage. Most of that comes to Slash, you've got a bit of impact in there and a teeny tiny bit of puncture. Its supporting stats, like all weapons, really show where the Gundal is going to shine. 24% critical chance, 220% multiplier. Seems kind of like a random number for it to have been given, but those are some real nice crit stats. So you're going to be able to make a and really push a crit build very, very hard on this weapon. Although with only a 4% uh, status chance, you are not going to be able to make a status build on here really at all. Like all pole arms though, it comes with some crazy range to it, so maximising that with primed reach is going to work really well for you. Especially when you take into account the huge slide attack damage of 200. Chuck maiming strike on there combined with the range of the weapon and oh man can you piss out some rather silly slide attack damage if that's a playstyle you enjoy. It's got a couple of downsides though, like most weapons, well really to be honest only one downside, which is that it's the not really the fastest weapon ever. Only a 0.833 attack speed, so even with Prime Fury or Berserker, it's not going to be that quick to attack with. In terms of stances, honestly, both stances I'm not really a fan of. My preferred one, though, is Shimmering Blight, which actually is the one that matches the polarity. If I'm using it for the combos and not just sliding attack, like slide attacking the victory, then the Slashing Wing combo, while not having any guaranteed procs on it, does have a really nice high attack, like an overhead attack, which means that if you're only using melee, taking down flying ospreys or cameras, grenade disruption doors, that's way easier. And it's definitely the personal preference, um, well, it's my personal preference for the two stances. The build itself, I went for a pretty standard maiming strike pole arm build. Two former, changing the innate D to a V, adding one more V. We got prime pressure point on there, prime reach for range, maiming strike for crit chance on slide attacks, blood rush body count for crit chance, berserker for attack speed on crit, two 90% elemental mods because we don't really have any status chance to play with here. This build, if you slide attack to victory, then you will crit every single time you slide and do some crazy damage while you're at it. I've taken this into a sortie and this build has killed everything super easily. It's very effective and if you like sliding, this build is going to do you well. If you don't like sliding though, I would change out Maiming Strike for Life Strike for some health steal when you channel. It's going to be quite a lot less effective than the Maiming Strike build. But if that's not your playstyle, then you can definitely switch things up to suit the way you play better. So, what do I think of the Guandao? Well, honestly, it's a bit of a beast. The slide attack build can deal with even the highest level enemies super quickly, especially when you're hitting so many of them at once with the crazy range it has with primed reach. But even if you don't have maiming strike or the prime mods, the Guandao is a fantastic weapon for newer players. It does a ton of damage and even the uh, standard versions of the mods, it will still do a lot of damage. It will really clear anything, at least on the star chart, with ease. Now I'm not sure about the build requirements of the weapon just yet, since the research is still ongoing in my, in my dojo, but provided they aren't too high, this could be a great melee for newer players to progress into pretty early. The one thing that does sadden me a bit is that it doesn't really bring anything new to the pole arms. It's pretty much just a standard, no interesting mechanics or anything, it's just a standard pole arm. It doesn't really feel any different to the Orthos or the Tombow, like any of the other the, the pole arms that we have in the game already. But I can kind of let it off slightly because of the fact it is such a low mastery weapon. It's just a shame it doesn't have anything a bit more interesting to it, rather than feeling kind of like a reskin of other pole arms. But despite that, I actually like it a lot. The damage output when fully built is pretty damn solid, plus it looks incredible. Give pole arms a new stance, and I have might have found a melee that I would actually use quite a bit. I really do like it a lot. A weapon that newer players could get early and have it carry them through to late game, getting more powerful as you go as you get the mods, I think it's a decent addition to the pole arms. So I hope you enjoyed my look at the Guandao. It's a pretty simple weapon, unlike the Sakati, which is coming in a video tomorrow. So for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.